you know, more people have scaled Mount Everest than have successfully swam the English Channel. But now a local swimmer plans to take on this tough trek. Angela Jacobs has the story from Clearwater Beach. I've been thinking about it so long, it's uh, finally here. As the hours pass on Clearwater Beach Patrol, Ron Collins plans a career quest. I've done Tampa Bay, that's 24 miles. I've done the swim around New York City. Uh, they're viable substitutes, but they're not the English Channel. Every marathon distance swimmer's dream. Next week, Ron will start in Dover, England, and attempt to swim the 18.2 nautical miles that separate England from France. He expects a nine-hour journey. And that's why this is known as the Mount Everest of distance swimming. And that's why you want to do it. That's why I have to do it. Clearwater Beach has been Ron's training ground. He says in the winter, the waters here are very similar to the cold, rough conditions of the channel. But those are just a few of the challenges he's going to face. You finish the English Channel if and when the channel allows you to. They've got this nasty little creature, this eel called the lamprey. He comes up and he sucks uh, blood out of your leg, and you've got to physically pull him off before, uh, uh, before it hurts too much. Not to mention sharks, freighters, and ferries. After logging 30 to 40 miles a week training, Ron's ready for his English endeavor. That's going to mean a big party, for one thing. Another slot on the resume, the swimming resume. In Clearwater, Angela Jacobs, Tampa Bay Sense Sports.